What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense fam and clan. It's your boy Uncommon Sense coming back at you again with another mobile review. Today's mobile review is on a fragrance from Scentbox. The fragrance that I'm talking about today. Y'all know why y'all came here. Y'all know what time it is. We about to get into that thing. Let's go. Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my, that's my way I was on Lulu's channel, she had this fragrance in her lineup, and I was interested in it again. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna wear it this time because smelling it on paper, as we already know, is totally different from smelling it on skin. The fragrance that I'm talking about today, Titiana Terenzi's Kirky Extra de Parfum. Eau de Parfums and Parfums last on my skin a lot better, they perform better. I don't know if it's just me and my chemistry, but sometimes, my skin can eat a fragrance up. Compared to what other fragrance enthusiasts say about the performance and longevity that they get from a fragrance, mine usually does not come close. This fragrance, in my opinion, one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled. It is simply amazing. It is fruity, it's dense, juicy, it's tropical. Those are the types of things that kind of check my boxes. I like a fruity fragrance, one, because they smell great coming off of my skin. It also adds a layer of depth that I like for my skin and how my chemistry interacts with fragrances. I'm going to briefly talk about the standout notes. It is very complex. In the top, we have in the mid, we have and in the base, we have the standout notes that I smell is peach, raspberry, it's gonna be kind of sweet and milky. Also too, with this being a extract de parfum, it, it's got my hands saturated. The performance of this fragrance, I've worn this a few times, as you guys can see. I've worn this a few times, maybe three to four sprays across the body. It's lasted me all day. Performed all day. When I'm talking about all day, I'm not talking about eight hours. I'm talking about all day. I'm talking about 14 hours plus. Yes! Longevity. This fragrance is one of the best performing fragrances I've ever used. This fragrance here is one of the most powerful fragrances I've ever had the pleasure of experience it. Literally, what it puts you in the mind of is, I smell like a Welch's fruit snack. <laughs> and I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad about it at all. I feel like this was a home run for me. And it's not that expensive. For 3.4, I think I saw it going for maybe about 100, 110, something like that. Since the fragrance performs, and it smells amazing on my skin, I definitely feel like it's worth the money. I've gotten great compliments from this one as well, just sampling it. In addition to that, I, I enjoy the hell out of this fragrance. Last week, I did something that I do not do. I wore this fragrance four times last week. And I usually, throughout the day, try to get in a few fragrances. So the day scent, one for the midday if I'm working from home, and then one for the evening for bedtime. Wasn't allowed to do that with this one. 
Tiziana Terenzi's Kirky had fragrance of the day, scent of the day, sold the fuck up. <laughs> and if you guys have not tried this one and you like fruity florals, give this one a shot. There are only a few Tiziana Terenzi's that I'm actually interested in. Kirky being one of them. This was very worth my time. As far as an alternative, if you don't want to spend the 110, hopefully you guys are not paying full retail on fragrances that you don't have to. That's first and foremost. <laughs> hopefully you're not doing that. But if you are, more power to you. But if you don't want to, take a little time, search around the internet, and check out fragrance discounters. See if you can get a better price. I think it's worth it. However, if you don't want to pay 120, there's another fragrance out there. Al Yuquam Jasmine Whisk. Same thing. And it costs about 65 bucks. I actually have Jasmine Whisk. I did a nose test the other day that they smell about 90% alike. In the dry down, they're identical. The opening. There's a bit more floral in the opening of Jasmine Wisp than it is in Kirky. Kirky is a bit more fruity in the opening. The florals are a lot more subdued. Kirky is a bit more pulpy, a bit more fruit roll up like, like dehydrated fruit. Kirky Extract of Parfum is a lot more concentrated in scent. It's kind of like the fruit juice concentrate that you get in the cans that's frozen and then you dilute with water. It reminds me of that like Concord grape juice. Same zip code, different streets. That's what I usually always say. Same zip code, different streets. They're close enough, but they're not 100% identical. They're identical though. This one bears a lot of Similarity to Yardine Exclusive, Sospiro Herba Pura, Zerjoff Herba Pura, all of those are in the same vein as this type of fragrance. Not the same, but in the same vein. Now that I have Jasmine Wisp though, I don't know if I am going to get Kirky because they do smell alike. One of the best times to wear this fragrance is, I believe, summer. I'll try fall because we're approaching fall soon. Spring and summer to me is where this one is going to get its most shine. It's that type of fragrance that I feel like is kind of a utility knife. These types of fragrances on my skin allow me to do a lot more with them. I'm not usually bound by season and things of that nature, but as far as a recommendation, I'd say spring and summer outdoor event i'd wear it to the club because it's a great performer and it'll hang in there with you and of course when you're in a club if you're having a good time and you're dancing i notice that when my body temperature warms up a little bit more it turns up the heat no pun intended on this fragrance it amps it up the siage and the projection off this one is phenomenal like I can smell it wafting off of my hand about a foot and a half away that's about a foot and a half and as I'm moving my hand around I get whiffs of it and it's so pleasant do I think Kirky is a cop of drop I believe it is indeed a cop however for my collection I don't know if I'll add this one because I have something that smells somewhat like it already I thank you guys for hanging with me on another mobile review. I'm driving downtown, making my way to the job. As you guys can see, done a little bit of self-care. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourself in this time frame. Exercise self-care in whatever form you need. Whether that's reading a book, taking a long bath, disconnecting, reconnecting, whatever it means to you and for you. Make sure that you're exercising self-care. Not answering that call from that toxic person. Refusing to be roped into certain bits of mess, drama, gossip, 
whatever it means to you exhibit self care I know around these times I'm extremely emotionally impressionable partially because this is around the time that my father passed and I don't always realize how susceptible and volatile my mood is during this time. Also, too, going back to school around this time, always a little weird around this transition. The time that summer is wrapping up and that kind of brings on seasonal effectiveness, we'll call it that. So, from my experience to you guys' ears, I just want to be a beacon and a proponent of mental health and wellness. Make sure that you guys are exhibiting self-care. Also, make sure that your friends and family are not taking on the role of a therapist in your life. That is not your friends and family's job or calling. Or maybe it is. But I believe getting the help you need is a sign of strength. So when you need that help, seek out a medical and mental health professional. I don't think it's fair to expect friends, family, wives, spouses, boyfriends, girlfriends to assume the role of clinical psychologists and licensed clinicians, etc. I don't think that that's fair. So allow your friends and family to love you and support you without them taking on the role of a medical professional, a mental health professional. And again, that's my pro tip for today. It's been your man, Uncommon Sense. And remember, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, the top, the sides, and all the way around. And we out. Till next time. Get my prep time going on here. Got my doobie wrap. Gotta find it. There you go. Compared to what other fragrance enthusiasts will say, about the about the longevity and performance, they ugh, I can't talk. They smell. I would say my maybe about ninety four percent. I would say this has ugh, the bottle, the bottle. <laughs> it's a bottle butyl. <laughs> so that it also lad. It also adds a that ugh, I could not talk to that about that because if. I take that back. That damn bump is so fucking ignorant. And I did a taste taste test. I did a nose test. I won't say mood swing because that sounds unstable, but then and plaited my locks. It's so interesting to see waist length hair come up around your shoulders when you braid it. It's crazy. That's why a lot of people think I put extensions in my hair. <laughs> the length fluctuates. But a wise lady just said, my shrinkage just shows you my untapped potential. <laughs>